Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to control a contactor using two push buttons in a start stop circuit. This is a fundamental control circuit used in industrial automation and electrical systems. By the end of this video, you'll understand how this circuit works, how to wire it, and how to troubleshoot common issues. So let's get started. What is a contactor? A contactor is an electrically controlled switch used to turn a motor, light, or other electrical loads on or off. It has a coil that, when energized, closes its main contacts, allowing current to flow. These are main contacts. The main contacts in a contactor carry the main load. A contactor also has additional contacts called auxiliary contacts, which are used for uh, control functions. These are auxiliary contacts. What is an auxiliary contact? An auxiliary contact in an additional contact in a contactor that doesn't carry the main load, but is used for control purposes. There are two types of auxiliary contacts. Normally open contact closes when the contactor is energized. This one normally closed contact opens when the contactor is energized. This one. This is a coil. As you can see, if I trigger this coil, the main contacts close and the motor starts running. Also, the auxiliary contact changes its state. After the contactor, the next component to explain is the push button. This circuit uses two types of push buttons. A normally open button for starting, a normally closed button for stopping. Let's break it down. Normally open button, when not pressed, here, its contact remain open, preventing current flow. Pressing it closes the contact, allowing current to pass through. About normally closed button, normally closed button in its normal state, its contact are closed, allowing current uh, to flow. Pressing it opens the contact, stopping the current flow. Okay, now look at the, this dia diagram. Here the start normally open and the stop normally closed button are connected in series with the contactor coil. This setup ensures that pressing the start button energizes the coil, turning the contactor on. Pressing the stop button breaks the, uh, breaks the circuit and turning the contactor off. This is an auxiliary contact of a contactor which is uh, connected in parallel with the start button. I will explain its rule uh, shortly. Okay. First I will wire this circuit uh, without an auxiliary contact and test it. Then I will wire it uh, an, uh, with an auxiliary contact to observe its importance. Now, according to this wiring uh, diagram, let's start wiring the components. First, connect the live wire of the power supply to one terminal of the normally closed stop button. Next, connect the other terminal of the stop button to one terminal of the normally open start button. Now, connect the other terminal of the start button to one side of the contactor coil. And finally, connect the other side of the contactor coil to the natural of the power source. Now I have connected all the wiring. Let's uh, test the circuit and analyze how it works. As you can see, if I press the start button, the contactor coil energizes and closes its contacts. However, when I release my finger from the start button, the current to the coil is disconnected causing the contacts to return to their normal state. Let's test it again.
as you can see here show the conductor is active now deactive this type of circuit is called a momentary circuit because it only stays on while the start button is pressed to make it stay on even after releasing the button I need to add an auxiliary contact in parallel with the start button okay now I will wire the circuit again according to the circuit diagram but this time with an auxiliary contact first Connect the live wire of the power supply to one terminal of the normally closed start button. Next, connect the other terminal of the stop button to one terminal of the normally open start button. Now, connect the other terminal of the start button to one side of the conductor coil. Then, connect the other side of the conductor coil to the natural of the power source. Finally, uh, add an auxiliary contact in parallel with the start button. Okay, how does the auxiliary contact work in this circuit? When I press the start button, the contactor coil energizes, closing both the main contacts and the normally open auxiliary contact. Once the auxiliary contact closes, it acts as a bypass around the start button, keeping the circuit energized even after releasing the start button. As you can see, the contactor stay on even after release my finger from the start button. Now, when I press the stop button, what happened? When I press the stop button, the contactor turns off because the current flow to the coil is disconnected. Okay, as you can see, everything is working correctly. Maybe we are facing some problems. Now I want to discuss them. Issue 1. The contactor doesn't turn on. In this case, first, check if the start button is faultly or wired incorrectly. Then ensure the power supply is properly connected. Issue 2. The contactor turns on but doesn't stay on. In this case, verify that the auxiliary contact, this one, is correctly connected in parallel with the start button. Issue 3. The, contact, the contactor doesn't turn off when pressing the stop button. Check if the normally closed stop button is stuck in the open position okay and that's how you control a contactor using a start sub circuit this circuit is widely used in motor control industrial automation and electrical systems i hope you found this tutorial helpful please like this video to support the channel subscribe and hit the bell icon for more electrical tutorials if you have questions Drop them in the comments, I'd love to help. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.